is a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Leving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Out of the blue corner, this man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 137 pounds. Fighting out of Santa Monica, California, USA, Golden. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, Weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Ready? All right, so here we are, Scotiabank Arena, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And I would think as an athlete, these type of rabid MMA crowds are something you absolutely feed on. Absolutely would love to fight in Canada at the Scotiabank Arena. You understand how knowledgeable these fans are because they cheer at the right times, they boo at the right times, but they appreciate everything. This is a great fight environment. Whoa! Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Kick the leg out. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Nice one, two there. Oh, hit kick blocked though by Lee. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick.
big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Beautiful straight counter. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Leg kick. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Switching stances here. Big punch lands. Ooh. I need you to pay attention. Protect yourself. Your shot. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And that one was heavy. Head kick there, we'll see if he can finish. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Beautiful strike. Oh, what a head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize he was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Oh, huge strike hands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Oh, is that a huge kick to the body or what? That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, what a punch. Keep going again. Going again. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows cut to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a tie -book class or something like that. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Lee's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Well, he keeps going. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, he might be out. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't do. Oh. Right there, DC, he's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Oh! it was and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round not a lot of fighters will try it he did he executed and it worked right no discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it why not try it it's working so why not try it again if his opponent isn't careful he will get knocked out it'd be on a highlight reel for the rest of time Big punch land. And he landed the right hand there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Get him with his hip into that kick. 
Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. I mean, that right hand landed square. Oh, huge block! Oh, oh! He's a big there. He's a big block. Get out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, if you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. He went high on that one. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Man, that cut has really opened up. Nice punch there. It looks like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, half guard now, not a fighter. You want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high level grab. This fight's gonna go for us. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Punches. Oh, man, don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in waving his Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighter setting it up. Oh, huge right hand! He got it bad! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Side control now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Nice loop of punch. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. And he switches his stance yet again. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times, the night would be over. And gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight.
Third round underway. Nice three punch. Well, just as he hit the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Misses with the right hand. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. How good is that right hand? Nice kick here. Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. So you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, side control now. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which Throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Punch over the top. Oh, put it to sleep. Oh, straight right. Oh, wow. Down landed clean. Three minutes to go in round three. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 58 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.